You know what I hate? You know what I absolutely hate, man? And this is the reason why I don't do this. I hate coming out to the garage to work on something, but, but I've got to clean up. You see, I did not clean up from my god dang mess from the last video. Look, I got tools everywhere. I've got the old thingamabob. I got an empty Red Bull. That's not all, bro. That's not all of it. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I gotta clean my mess up before I can even get started on today's video. But, good morning, beautiful. How was your night? And now I can't even find my tripod. <sighs> For real, where the hell's my damn tripod at? I remember now. Bang, bang. Oh yeah. And now it is time to say good morning to my neighbors. <laughs> It's because the old man is out next door, out messing around in his yard. See, I do have some respect, bro. I don't want to startle the dude. <laughs> it probably, it would probably make him upset too. I'm being honest. I mean, since I've noticed so many people are worried about my neighbors, you guys are more worried about my neighbors than my neighbors are. My neighbors don't care, bro. My neighbors are chill. They're all fucking cool. But anyhow. Excuse me for a moment, because I'm going to clean my garage up, and then we'll get started on what we're doing today. Bam, boy, just like that. We got the garage all cleaned up, so now we can move on with what we got to do today, man. And it's probably the title and thumbnail, but we need to make windows for khaki. Got our foam all laid out for cutting. And I only have this one piece of Lexan left, dude. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able, yeah, dude, this should be plenty. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. I'm actually glad that I kept my windows. So, as of right now, I have the door windows for an EG, door windows for an EF, and I have the quarter panel windows for an EG and EF. So yeah, basically all the windows that I've made, I have all the glass stacked back here that I can use as templates for actually making flex sand. So, hell yeah, but I gotta dig out the EF ones. And there's one of them. So this is the driver's side, but just like the other ones, we can make both 
uh, make a template for both windows off of just this one. Because the passenger side is just a mirror of the driver's side. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, but I should set this thing up here. Oh, dude. That's going to be cutting it really close. Wonder if it'll fit this way. Hail freaking no. Or hold on. Hail freaking yeah? Okay. Yeah, that'll actually work. See, hold on. I'm gonna actually mark a line. And check and see. All right, so this is gonna be really close, but remember, I don't need this whole section on the bottom. I think I actually only need where this line is marked out on the window. That was from the last time I was messing around with the windows, but I don't know, it's gonna be really close. <laughs> I think what I need to do is actually pop my door panels off on the hatch really quick and see exactly how short I can make that. Cause yeah, I need to find every single little bit of room that we're that I could possibly get in order to make this one piece of Lexan make two windows. Well, it is time to take about 300 screws out. <laughs> oh man. Okay, maybe not 300, but about 30. wipe all these old marks off so we don't get confused whenever we make our new marks. Hopefully it comes off with alcohol. Yeah, there we go. All right, now let's go test fit this on the door. And if you don't understand what it is I'm doing, I'm trying to figure out exactly how much of this bottom section, hey, someone ordered something. Thank you, whoever that was. As a matter of fact, let's see, Troy Connor. Troy Connor just ordered something. Uh, let's see here, at 1212. Nine o'clock this morning, Douglas, thank you for your order. Uh, at 8.53 this morning, Brayden. It's a dope ass name, bro, thank you for your order. Um, and at 6.20 a.m., Juan Torres. What we're doing here is I'm trying to figure out because you guys know we don't need this whole entire section on the bottom. Um, we really just need to cut it straight somewhere up here so i need to figure out where that is so i can save as much material as possible because i need to try to make two windows out of what little material we have so yeah that's the idea so i'm gonna get this thing up into position and try to mark it somehow um, to make sure i also don't cut it too short i seriously left the marker up there Okay, so this line is where our door bar actually sits up against it. So um, I need to be able to put screws into this piece. So Lexan just needs to come down far enough that I'm able to screw it through the Lexan into this door bar that we fabricated for the panels. So I really only need probably about a half inch underneath this line. That means that we can cut all that off to be able to actually save us some room. So hopefully with that little bit of extra room, we'll be able to make two windows out of this small piece of material. We'll see, dude. It'll be my luck that there's not enough. It'll be just that close. But anyhow, now what we need to do is just make our template, bro. We've been here before. I've already explained how to do all this. So I'm not gonna go in as much of detail, but I will link my other videos in the description down below. If any of you guys haven't seen those and you want more detail on how to build your own Lexan windows, you know what I'm saying?
All right, so now I have my outline going all the way around the actual window itself. But this line down here that we marked, I can see it through the transfer tape. So now what I'm gonna do is actually, where'd my marker go? I'll actually just mark a dot right around a half of an, you know what? I should measure it, make sure it's the same on both sides. Put a dot right at a half of an inch on both sides. So now whenever we lay this on our material, I just put a straight edge from dot to dot and then mark that line. And I got both of my templates made and I've got them both laid out. And I did figure out how I could place them and get both windows out of this one piece of Lexan, which is definitely good news because this is all I got left. But we also have this section right here left um, I, I want to make a slider for my uh, driver's side as well. So um, luckily we have a big enough section here that I should be able to figure out some kind of way to make me a opening section so we can get some damn fresh air inside of that thing. Dude, it's going to be so weird having door windows in that car. I've went so long without them and I'm just used to it. But if I'm ever going to run the car on the track, I definitely need windows in the doors. But I got my jigsaw out and ready. I'm going to try to get as much of this cut out as I possibly can because I need to leave here in about 30 minutes to go pick Braven up from school. Got the windows all cut out, but you guys already know what we gotta do. We gotta go around the edges and sand them, clean them up, make it look nice. But before we do that, we got a package here. And I gotta tell you, guys, we've made it, man. We've made it. We've made it. We made it. Let's <laughs> see. I tell you what, man, we made it, dude. We finally made it. Braven's over here like, what is this? This is stuff I've never even seen before, which, like, dead ass. Like, dude, I've been using Super Clean for years. You guys already know that. Um, way before I started doing YouTube. I want to say it was around 98, 99. 1998, 1999. Uh, <laughs> shows how old I am. But it's whenever I started using this stuff, um, I've literally used Super Clean, like, my entire life, basically. Dude, I've tried like the simple green, I've tried the purple power, and I don't care what anybody has to say. Uh, like straight up, if, you're, if your damn degreaser don't make you choke, then that stuff must be a joke because this stuff is stronger than anything else that I've ever used on the market, bro. And I have, I'm being honest with you guys, like, God, get out of here. Get that can of super clean and spray that freaking fly with it. You guys know, I've been using this since way before this day. Way before this day. So, I most certainly stand by it, man. This stuff gets all the grease off the engine. And I've used this inside of all the cars, underneath the cars. Like, it, this is this is my go-to. Always has been. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at AutoZone, Checkers, O'Reilly's. Checkers ain't even around anymore. Nope. I need to stop showing people how damn old I am. But anyhow, definitely super excited about this. Um, got shirts, got a hat, and it's a, it's a dad hat, which I probably won't wear, but, you know, I can hang it up in my room, hell freaking yeah, but I'm most certainly excited about the products themselves, dude. This is sick. And what is up with this? Floor absorbent. Definitely gonna need this whenever Curly's around. Whoa, 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 I thought this was a liquid. No, it's a powder. Like, so if you spill something, you just, you know, like and it that. absorbs it. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. It looks like um, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs? That is the stuff. That's dope. So, you already know. This has got to go up ASAP. Where are we going to put it? It's got to go right there. What do you think? I don't know if it's going to fit. No, it's going to fit. This got me like that. <laughs> that right there. What is that? Like 100 gallons, bro? You guys know how often I use it. What do you, what do you think? That big old sucker? 
That might last us six months, right? Yeah, about. You think six months? About like six. <laughs> Maybe three months. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's freaking dope. So now it will be in the background of every single video. <laughs> That's freaking cool, man. All right, guys, you gotta excuse my excitement. This this actually blows me away, dude. When I got the email from them about this, like I was just like, Phew. but anyhow, I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and then we'll continue on with these windows. I'm just going through and checking out the fitment really quick in which it looks pretty good. Looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send the passenger window. We're gonna drill some holes, get this thing screwed down, and I want to follow the same spacing as these windows obviously, just so that everything looks uniform. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the passenger one installed because I'm not gonna put a slider on this window yet. Lotte man got me today, boy. Got the mango, man, mango yada, mango yada, mango yada, and a bag of chips. I don't know what they call this, but this shit's bomb, dude. Throw it in the comments, y'all ever had this? It's got the corn and salsa and everything in it. I can't like sometimes, I got robbed, bro. Dude, sometimes I like those, but most of the time I get that and I'll eat a couple chips and then I go walking out back and I dump it on the ground for the dogs to eat it all. Dude, no, <laughs> I can never get past like five or six of these. They don't give you enough. Yeah. This is good too. It's not bad. Not bad. All right, Lothe man break and then back to work. Well, we have currently lost sunlight, so I'll need to pull the car up into the garage so that I can record. And you guys can actually see, but I did get the passenger window all screwed in. Uh, it was a pain in the ass because you have to get the screws like right on the edge, bro. You have even less room to attach this with the e on the EF than you do the EG. Um, Junior's windows were a lot easier. There was a big old gaping section of steel that you could screw in. Yeesh, other people's kids. But anyhow, got it all screwed in. So now what I have to do is the part that I hate more than anything is take it all the way back out, bro. And then peel it and then put it back in. Yeah, the reason why I leave the plastic on for drilling the holes because like whenever you're drilling the hole, you know how the, the drill bit swings the stuff around in a circle? That is enough to scratch the Lexan. I've done it before. It leaves like a swirled scratch everywhere, which you can get it out with the torch, but I just don't even want to risk it, bro. It's so much easier to just put it in, have it protected, and then get it where you like it, and then pull it back out, and then take all this protected plastic off. But also, I'm gonna do something with all the screw holes while we have it off, and I'll show you that right now. All right, so on these windows where the hardware is exposed on the outside, I wanna use the same hardware that I use on all the rest of my windows, which are these taper-headed um, security type. I, I think they call it just security screws. It takes like that hex head, that has a little hole in the center, but these are also stainless steel, so they don't rust. And so the screw on the right, that's a pan head screw, and the one that's on the left, that's the one that I'm gonna use. You see how the head has like a taper to it? Uh, the problem with that is it won't sit flush on the material with that taper in it, like these pan heads will. So all the holes that we drilled, I'm gonna go through with this. It is a countersinking bit, and what it's gonna do is cone out the hole, so countersinking, I know a lot of you guys probably already know, and I know that this bit I don't think is an actual countersink bit, but it's gonna work because uh, this is only Lexan, it'll eat through it. This, I believe, is a deburring bit. I can't find my actual countersinking bit, but it is what it is, bro. This is what I'm using.
right, passenger side window is complete for now. Um, I do plan on putting a slider in that window as well because you guys already know, whenever I go out, I normally always have Braven with me. So I figured it'd just be fair for him to have a little opening window as well. So anyhow, this is the driver's side and I've already been working on laying out my template where it is I need to cut. Basically, I'm trying to make this thing as big as I possibly can make it, dude, because I'm I'm a warm-blooded person, dude. Like even in the winter time, like if I have a sweater on, I start getting hot, dude. Especially inside of a car. Like it's not even like hot yet, and I've already been using the air conditioning inside of my Altima whenever I'm going places. You know what I mean? Freaking Gabby gets pissed off inside of the house because I'm always shutting the heater off and opening up all the doors. But anyhow, like I like to have airflow, and I ain't gonna lie. When it comes summertime, I'll more than likely be pulling these fucking windows completely out. Anyhow. But at least we'll have them fabricated. So whenever we do go to the track, I can throw them in, you know? So yeah, I have this all mapped out. So now I just need to cut this out and then I need to transfer. This is basically the size, this lighter mark, that's pencil. That is the size that the actual sliding portion needs to be. And I'm oversizing it more than I did the last time because the way I'm setting mine up is I, I actually got some Velcro that's double stick tape and I'm gonna be applying Velcro in here so that that window, the, the sliding portion, will have that to actually slide on um, so it doesn't like scratch the window all up and everything. And I figure it's gonna be a lot smoother as well. So yeah, sorry, Junior. Um, I'm making mine a little bit better than yours. <laughs> what can I say? That was my first one though, so. There's my window. Well, my window inside of my window, right? <laughs> it came out really clean, dude. So now how I got these rounded corners is I actually used uh, a big hole saw to actually cut out the corners. And so I drilled a hole at all four and then just connected the line, obviously with the jigsaw. And then of course you go back and you sand it and just get everything cleaned up. And it came, dude, this came out freaking mint, bro. It's so smooth. I beveled this edge also so like if I ever have this open and like I have my hand like put my hand out or something you know it's just it's dull it's nice and smooth it's dull it's not sharp but all right now we have to actually cut the sliding part which there's my template I made a template of it before I cut that out and this is our last little sliver of freaking leg sand bro so I only get one shot I can't mess this up because if I do, then I'm just going to have a driver window with a big old gaping hole in it. <laughs> pretty late last night but I did finish the window it's just not installed yet and I ain't gonna lie bro this came out pretty freaking dope man I'm actually stoked on this so now what I did here that I did differently from juniors window is I actually oversized the opening section more so that I can compensate for putting this velcro right here so now the window will actually slide on the velcro instead of actually like Lexan sliding on Lexan, you know what I'm saying? So the whole point here is to try to avoid from it leaving the scratch marks on the window itself. So, and yeah, dude, it made it pretty damn tight. So whenever I did that, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a small piece. Come on, focus. So in order to do that, I had to put that little section of aluminum underneath our channel. So this is the same channel that I used on Junior's but I had to space it up a little bit with that little piece of aluminum. And I actually got that from Home Depot. So yeah, dude. Anyhow, now the only thing left to do is actually install it in the car and see what it looks like. I can't wait to get all the plastic peeled off, dude. This is gonna look pretty dope.
All right, got it installed. But you guys already know what we gotta do now is completely take it back out. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and countersink all these holes and then clean it all up, put it on, then peel the paper off. One of the biggest reasons why I install it and then take it off um, is because I, you, you know whenever you drill holes, it leaves all that dust and everything in behind the hole um, from, from drilling, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want any of that stuff sandwiched between here because if you look, you see how you could see in behind this Lexan, like if we didn't take it off and clean it all up and get all that dust out of there, um, then whenever we just screw it down, you'll see all the little particles in there from us drilling. So it's just a good idea to, um, yeah, just take it all apart, just get it all installed, make sure everything fits, and then take it all apart, clean it all up, and then reinstall it for the final time. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So there it is dude that's the finished product and i can't be happier with how this came out it's actually really freaking clean dude and with the countersunk screws it's just i don't know it just gives it a really nice look and i mean i was kind of worried about the backside, the adhesive for that um velcro like it was gonna look like shit, but it really doesn't look bad at all uh yeah i mean it slides really well like and now since being we did that with the velcro and it spaced the door out the actual sliding section of it so now i don't have to worry about this sliding on the lexan and scratching it up and stuff one thing i definitely need to do now is put some kind of door strap because i'm i'm used to not having a window here so i normally just grab the whole door and pull it shut but now i just have the holes down here to pull my door shut but hell yeah there it is dude all the way open and that's my little window it's not bad dude i mean in the summertime it's gonna be miserable inside of here um that little window ain't gonna do shit but hell yeah at least we'll actually pass tech now and be able to run this thing down the drag strip Oh, I, I can see you through my mirror. Got, got the whole thing. I got caught up. Got the whole, nope, nope. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get out of here. Get, get. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Hey, don't be talking through my antenna hole. <laughs> All right. Hell freaking yeah, bro. Make sure no one can steal the car and close and roll out the window. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now the only thing that I really need left to finish up the doors is the trim piece right here. Um, if I can find like a factory one that's clean, the ones that were on this car were, were pretty well beat, bro. I did paint them black. I don't even know where they're at now, but I remember I painted them black and I put it on there and I was like, yeesh, they look like shit. So. I might end up fabbing some kind of aluminum piece or something to go right here. Oh, another thing, whenever this thing goes all the way open, it stops actually on the door, which is perfect. It stops right there, right when this thing is like completely open. But then the back, it would kind of overextend. So I put, I cut one of these screws down and I put a screw in through the track right there. So now it'll stop. Bam, perfectly right there. So then the, the the distance, the overlap on the door is the same on both sides, so. Hell yeah. 
All right, guys, the only other thing that I really want to do in today's video is lower the front of the car some really quick, man, because when we lifted it the other day, I think we lifted it a little bit too much. So um, I want to take about half of that back out, and then I think it'll be sitting pretty proper. like three o'clock right now i think it's an appropriate time for two-stepping shit it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned something peace out and i'll see you on the next one man later rugged <laughs>